In this video, we're going to be on pages Access 32 and 33, in which we're going to use the Query Design View. You can use Query Design View to add, delete, or move the fields in an existing query, to specify sort orders, or to add criteria to limit the number of records shown in the resulting data sheet. You can also use Query Design View to create a new query from scratch. Query Design View presents the fields you can use for that query in small windows called Field List. You can use the fields of two or more related tables in the query. The relationship between the two tables is displayed with a join line, also called a link line, identifying which fields are used to establish the relationship. In step one, we want to double click the tours by state query. So we're going to have to go down here to our queries, which of course are broken down in all the access uh, objects here. And of course, here's our tours by state. So we want to double click this to open it up. And then this is our navigation pane. And of course, we want to review the data sheet here. Now, the tours by state query contains the state name field, which we see this right here. And that is from the states table and the tour name, tour start date, and the price fields from the tours table. And of course, this query also contains two ascending sort orders state name and tour name. All records in California, for example, are further sorted by the tour name value. In step two, it tells us that we want to click on the view button. And of course, notice if we click on the bottom half of that, it brings us here to the data sheet view, SQL view, or the design view. And generally, we're going to mostly be using either the data sheet view or the design view. The current view that we're in is the data sheet view, but we want to switch over to the design view. And this is the design view right here. Now, of course, a quick tip, you can drag the lower edge of the field list to view more fields. Uh, so in this case, if you want to view more fields in this case, you can click on this lower edge here and you can drag this down so you can see more of the list. If you want to see less of it, you can just click and you can drag this up so you see less of the list. Uh, so drag that down a little bit so you can see all the list. And if you want to see more of the field list down here as well, you can of course drag that and modify that as well so you can uh, have a little bit more work area, if you will. Now, of course, the query design view displays the tables used in the query in the upper pane of the window, and that's this right up here. The link line, which is this right here, which we've seen that in our first unit, shows that one record in the states table, which is the state abbreviation, may be related to many records in the tours table, which is the state abbreviation in the tours table. Now, the lower pane of the window which is called the query design grid and that is this whole area down here is the query design grid or we can just call that the query grid for short displays the field names and sort orders and criteria used within the query in step 3 it tells us that we want to click the first criteria cell for the state name field. So here we have our state name field and the first criteria cells are these blank cells that are underneath all the information. Of course we have our field name, what table it comes from, how is it sorted, and whether we want it shown or not. If there's a check mark in it, which means it's going to be shown in the uh, data sheet view. But our first criteria cell is the blank cell that's underneath here. And of course this is going to add some criteria to limit the results that we're going to be uh, shown in our data sheet view. So when we click on this first criteria cell for the state name field, we're going to type in the word Florida. Now doing this, the criteria are limiting conditions. Now you set in the query design grid. In this case, the condition limits the selected records to only those with Florida in the state name field. So if it doesn't have Florida as the state name, it's not going to be shown in the data sheet view. And of course, a quick tip, query criteria are not case sensitive. So Florida with a capital F equals Florida, which is in all capitals, 
which is the same thing as Florida, which is an all lowercase. So it doesn't matter the case uh, that you type this in. So if you typed in in all caps or all lowercase, or if you typed it in like this, it doesn't really matter. Once you have this input in underneath the first criteria cell here, it tells us that we want to go back up to our view button and click the top half of the view, uh, the view button, and that switches us over to the data sheet view. And this will show us the results uh, group uh, on there to switch to our data sheet view. And we notice that we only now have nine records that have been selected because only nine of the tours have Florida in the state name field. Now, of course, we want to save this query with a different name because now that we have this query on here, we've got it saved to where all the Florida tours are available. Now to save this query as something else besides tours by state, what we'll need to do is, is go up to the file tab here, which takes us to the backstage view, and then go to save as, and instead of saving the database as, we need to go save object as. And then of course then we need to click the save as button, and then of course here we have copy of tours by state and we want to replace that with Florida tours and we want to save it as a query and we're going to click on OK and of course we'll notice that Florida tours has been added to our query list now of course in access the save as command on the file tab allows you to save the entire database and all objects it contains, or just the current object with a new file name. Now recall that Access saves data automatically as you move from record to record. Now of course now you can notice some of the powers of queries because now if we were just wanting to find out what tours we have in Florida, that's all we would have to do is just create a query, put in some criteria that states that we just want the Florida tours or the California tours or the Colorado tours or whatever and it would pull up that information for us that way so we don't have to go through all this information trying to find out you know pick you know to kind of hand pick them out this will actually tell us what information we have in step six it tells us that we want to just right click the Florida tours query tab and click on close and it will close the floors, Florida Tours query. Now on page access 33, it talks about adding or deleting a table in a query. And of course it tells us that you might want to add a tables field list to the upper pane of the query design view uh, to select fields from that table for, uh, for the query. To add a new table to the query design view, drag it from the navigation pane to the query design view or click the show table button on the table design tab and then add the desired tables. Of course to delete an unneeded table from the query design view click its title bar and then press delete and of course to do that if we would go back to our Florida tours switching over to the design we could always go back in and we can click on show table and let's just say that we wanted to add in tour categories we could click on add that and of course notice that it's added in the table of course, if we didn't want that, we could always click on the. Uh, we can always uh, click on this and click Remove Table, and it would remove the table for us because if we didn't need it. Uh, but that will add uh, the tables into the query into this uh, top part of our query design view uh, that's on there, and uh, that way, so that if we needed to, we could drag this down or add this into our uh, query design grid down here if we needed to. But uh, we're going to close our Florida tours. And now you're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to sort and find data.